Hey, welcome back to another NetCast. I'm Rich Lopez, Quantrix Authority. Fantastic that you joined me today for episode number 136, Maintenance Log. I have here a pretty basic model. I have a list of machines, Fool Creek 1, Fool Creek 2, all the way down to Frisco Peak. I have some information about them and where they live. I also have, let's just say, a capacity uh, fact about them. So this guy has 976 gallon capacity. We'll say it's in gallons, okay? This one's 290. Well, as time goes on, I need to maintenance these machines, all right? And I want to create kind of a maintenance log. So what I do is I say I'm going to create a, a matrix out here that has a machine that I can go ahead and select from constrained input. I'm going to have the date that it was serviced and then any notes that I may want to add. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a counter, much like I did, or exactly like I did in episode number 134. This is going to be a running counter. And that's going to be important here in a second as I explain that. But this is kind of a, a two-dimensional log, right? I could filter on delta, and I could say, all right, that, that will give me everything, all the, all the times that I've done maintenance and any notes that maybe I've added to it. And that's okay, but what if I want this to be on a on a canvas and I want you know I want really to be able to filter on the machine because maybe I want to see the facts of the machine from the machine master with the maintenance log on a single canvas so manually having to filter on this is is not ideal and so what I would like to do is I'd kinda of like to create a maintenance summary that gives me the machines right that I have here and then it gives me a list of all of the maintenance that has been performed on those machines even though these maintenance entries are individual so what I would do is I would create another matrix okay and I'm just gonna call this we'll call this maintenance summary or MS just for short and I'm going to take this and let me try that again I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take machine IDs, pull it over here because I'm concerned about those machine IDs and I want all the details. So I'm going to pull it here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a kind of a visit counter. Okay, so I'm going to say visit ID. All right, it's not to be confused with maintenance ID. I'm just going to have it be an integer. All right, and I'm going to say annually I should have maybe up to eight maintenances a year all right that's kind of my goal and I want to see all of them you know kind of fall under uh, the machine as time goes on so how can I do that I simply go out and I say uh, visit ID equals uh, maintenance inputs maintenance inputs maintenance ID using item this counter as this visit ID here okay and then this machine as this category here and you can see if I then go to view and I hide empty rows and then I'm going to format this as a date I can get kind of a summation of everything so if I added notes here in Delano added notes I would expect to see that uh, show up down here if I go ahead and I add another one and let's say I'm gonna add it to South Walker it's not here currently If I go ahead and I add South Walker uh, one okay bam it just shows up and then any details I input in here input notes here I put my date and you can see it it's showing up for me automatically in the summary so again what I would do is I would create a, a canvas right and I would maybe throw my main master into my canvas and I would throw my maintenance summary right here that I created MS sorry about that I'd throw that into my summary as well I could then hit F3 and go to table view I'll make this a little bit bigger so we can see it and I would expose my category tiles here I would expose them here and then I would bring machine IDs up to the top here and I would bring uh, machine ID let me click on that and get it I would bring machine ID up here 
and then I would hide my category tiles again. This is really just kind of down and dirty. But then if I wanted to see a different machine, here say I wanted to see Southwalker or I wanted to see Delta, I would then see, yep, my kind of my facts on my machine and then all of my maintenance uh, performed on that machine in one simple view. There's no fooling around with, uh, you know, filters or whatever by right clicking and then clicking on filter down here. I can handle it all from the filter tray. So that's how I would create a maintenance log in, in Quantrix if I needed to. I hope you find that useful. I hope that uh, if you have any questions about Quantrix that you'll come to my channel and try to find an answer. And if you don't find it there in the 136 videos I've now done, I hope that you'll reach out to me at QuantrixAuthority at gmail.com. I absolutely love Quantrix and I want to make you a Quantrix master. So please join me again for another episode of Quantrix Authority with Rich Lopez.